Using SharePoint surveys can be a great way to collect data for a variety of reasons. <clears throat> to create a survey, start by going to Site Actions, View All Site Content, Create. Once the Create window comes up, you're going to scroll down alphabetically to get to Survey. Just like our other things, it needs to have a name. I'm going to hit Create button, and it will automatically take me to my first question. I'm going to start with the default, which is a choice. So I'm going to leave it on Choice. I'll click Yes to require this question. And then I erase the choices down here. I'm going to put in three small choices. Um, the default is for radio buttons, and in this case I'll just leave it here. However, you'll notice if you select check boxes, then it will allow multiple responses. So the participants could check more than one if they would like. Go to the next question. This one I'm going to put um, a, a single line of text so they could just answer with one line of text. You can, of course, put multiple lines of text if you want. Go to the next question. This one I'm going to use a rating scale. So I'll put the rating scale down, and it looks very similar to your choice option, but I'll erase these. Um, in fact, I think I'll just put winter, spring, and then they can rate them. And you notice you can change it from a number range of five to quite a few if you want to pin it down even more. Uh, next question. On this one I'm going to leave it a choice, but um, this is going to be a yes-no question. And the reason I'm going to show you this is there is a yes-no down here. However, when you choose that, and you look at the survey question as a participant, all you see is the yes. I'm just going to put yes and no, and this is the best way to put that uh, a yes, no choice. I'm just going to click finish here because it's a short little survey. This is where you would go and change any of the uh, features of your survey. One thing you might want to go into is advanced settings because this is where uh, you can limit who can see it. I'm going to say read only responses created by the user, which means they can't see everyone else's. They can create responses uh, and, own, and edit their own, rather than editing, editing all of them. And then click OK on that one. I am going to go back to the title description and navigation, because this is where you would um, take out their username to make it an anonymous survey. That's very important in some types of surveys. So I'm going to go back and actually look at my survey. I've always liked to do this to see if the questions look like what I thought they were going to look like. So there's my choice, my um, single line response, the rating scale, and the yes-no. Be sure to click finish rather than taking it because since we have it set that a uh, person could take it only once. If you do put any answers in there, it won't let you go back in again. I need to set the permissions, so I go into Settings and Survey Settings, Permissions for this survey. Stop inheriting permissions, because you usually want to pin down the survey just to a certain group. In this case, I'm just going to take all authenticated users, who, and that's anybody that can log into our system. <coughs> Edit 
their uh, permissions. The one you want to give them is at the bottom, participate in discussion board and or survey. So that will show up that way. The other thing that you will need to know, let me get back to my survey. When you uh, have the responses in and you'll be able to track how many people have responded, you have two ways of looking at the responses. Showing a graphical summary of responses would show you in graph form and show all responses would give you literally every person who had responded and their individual answers.